Welcome to another segment of Remedies for the Remnant. The quick glimpse at the wonder of God's healing ways that he offers his sincere followers through his word and the inspiration of the spirit of prophecy. Have you ever wondered what Jesus meant by his words found in Matthew chapter 5, verse 30, where he says, And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. What did he mean? Listen to inspiration clarify these words. To prevent disease from spreading to the body and destroying life, a man would submit to, to part even with his right hand. Much more should he be willing to surrender that which imperils the life of the soul. Through the gospel, Souls that are degraded and enslaved by Satan are to be redeemed to share the glorious liberty of the sons of God. God's purpose is not merely to deliver from the suffering that is inevitable result of sin, but to save from sin itself. Eternity alone can reveal the glorious destiny to which man, restored to God, God's image, may attain. In order for us to reach this high ideal, that which causes the soul to stumble must be sacrificed. It is through the will that sin retains its hold upon us. The surrender of the will is represented as plucking out the eye or cutting off the hand. Often it seems to us that to surrender the will to God is to consent to go through life maimed or crippled. But it is better, says Christ, for self to be maimed, wounded, crippled, if thus you may enter into life. That which you look upon as disaster is the door to highest benefit. Friends, this is what God meant in Romans 8.28 when he communicated through the Apostle Paul. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. So no matter how difficult and devastating appearances may be in your life, remember this, dear friend. Please remember this. That which you look upon as disaster is the door to highest benefit. Then what shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Romans 8.31. Until next time, take courage from knowing that the Lord's thoughts towards you are thoughts of peace and not of evil. What you look at and see as one of the most difficult, dangerous things that could ever happen to you is actually the door to highest benefit. Courage to you. Courage.